In this video, I'll show you how to create a dynamic chart with a scroll bar in Excel. Here we have the historical daily stock price data for a fictitious company from the start of 99 to the end of 2004. Due to the sheer amount of data we'd like to display, our line chart currently looks a bit messy. To overcome this, we'll cover how to add a scroll bar which allows you to show one year's worth of data at a time and scroll through the remaining data. To do this, we're going to start by inserting a scroll bar from the Developer tab. If you're currently unable to see the Developer tab, then right-click on any tab, click Customize the ribbon, and then Ensure Developer is selected. Within the Developer tab, click Insert, and then select the scroll bar icon. Once you've added the scroll bar, right click it and then click Format Control and go into the Control tab. We can keep the current and minimum value as zero. However, as mentioned earlier, we have a lot of data, 2,161 rows to be precise and we want to display a year's worth of data, or 365 rows, at a time. Therefore, our maximum value will be 2,161 minus 365, which is 1,796. This will ensure that when we scroll to the final year, we'll be able to see the full year and not just one or two months. For the incremental change, we're going to type 50. In other words, whenever you scroll across, the chart will show the next 50 days. For page change, we will leave this as 10. And for the cell link, we will link this to the start day cell. This will make more sense later, but in short, this is telling Excel which date we would like to display first in our charts. We can now click OK. When we click the right arrow of the scroll bar, you can see that it now moves across and the start day increases by 50. However, it's currently not making any changes to the chart. Right now, our chart is simply showing all data from 1999 to 2004. Instead, we want to show 365 days at a time. To overcome this, we need to add dynamic ranges for the date and share price columns. To do this, enter the Formulas tab and click Name Manager and then click New. Let's call our first dynamic range Date as it will refer to the Date column. Here we enter Equals Offset. We first input the reference cell which is M3. We then select the start day cell and add one. This is because we want to go one row down from this reference cell and then to start the range from the start day. Next, we enter zero as we're only concerned with the date column. Next, we can consider the height of the range. Here we will select the days showing cell as we want the range to always include 365 days at a time. Finally, we can type 1 as our range is one column wide. We can now copy the formula we just wrote for the date range and apply it to the share price range. The only change that we will make is to change the reference cell from M3 to N3 so that it refers to the share price heading. Now that we've created our dynamic ranges, we can incorporate them in the chart. Let's right click our charts, click select data, and then click edit. For the share price, let's replace the static range with the dynamic one by removing the static range and then selecting the F3 key and let's select the share price. 
We can then do the same for the date showing. You can see that our chart now only shows one year's worth of data. And when we click the right arrow of the scroll bar, it starts 50 days later while still showing the 365 day window from this later date. So that's how you can create a dynamic chart with a scroll bar in Excel. It can help make your charts look more professional and is a smooth way of sifting through a lot of data. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.